Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God in Jesus Christ, whose correct names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to give Say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect, unto the men, the servants, the prophets that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say shalom. He's going to fight for their blessing. All right. So this impending civil war, race riots, they're going to happen. These these militia groups that are coming, that's going to come up against the government. You know, it's going to happen. All right. But you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and those Israelites scattered amongst the heathen nations that have an Israelite spirit, what are you going to do? Okay? When these troubles come, all right, what, what, are you, what is your solution? What are you going to do? Because these Edomites are going to fight amongst each other. These Edomites, Satan's going to rise up against Satan. All right? You're going to have these lower level Edomites that are going to fight against these uh, uh, these governors and, and, and mayors. Okay? And, and they're going to fight for their blessing just like these, the higher level Edomites, these... Um, Rockefellers and these uh, DuPonts, these Gettys, these uh, Rothschilds, they're trying to fight for their rulership. They're trying to fight for their kingdom. All right. So it's going to be a lot of inner fightings amongst these Edomites. But this message to you Israelites, we not, hey, don't, hey, that's they, the ones that know the truth, know that let these Edomites fight amongst themselves. Let this devil destroy himself because that's what that, that's the plan of the Heavenly Father. These Edomites are going to get so fought, they're getting so frustrated about their kingdom uh, 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 passing away, their kingdom perishing, them losing their them losing the power that they once had. All right, they're 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 pretty much losing it. All right, and who are they going to take it out on? You Israelites, you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, the, hey, you're going to be their target. All right, just because just because shit ain't going as they plan, and all these shootings. All right, that's going on. You got a shooting here, shooting here. You got the thing in uh, uh, Uvalde, Texas, the, the a week before the one in Buffalo. Every time, you, every day you're looking up, it's you know, it's a shooting, 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 a shooting at a graduation party, shooting here, shooting on the freeway. And Esau's doing this all by design. All right, you have to have eyes to see that this devil's doing it because they control the media. All right, they control what is put out in the media, what the media says, what these uh, uh, news anchors say. All right, what stories are being told on the media in, in the media? All right, uh, through your uh, through the internet, through you know the television, it, it's all controlled and it's all filtered through Esau first, and that goes to the Hegelian dialectic. What they're what they're trying to, um, with basically not what they're trying to, what they're doing: problem, reaction, solution, and they're making this gun control a, a major issue and eventually they're going to take these guns away they're going to go door to door or wherever how they got it whatever way they they're going to do it and they're going to take they're going to ban these guns the possession of a firearm all right and people say well that's my constitutional right my second amendment rights yeah that's what the constitution says but during a state of emergency during um during a, a, a martial law the constitution is void all right. So everything that you all your rights that you think you have are, are voided in a time of a, a martial law, in a time of a national emergency. All right. So therefore, the government can take control of your house, your guns or whatever else they want. All right. So we're coming into these times where you Israelites got to wake up and understand. All right. This devil Esau is coming down with great wrath. All right. Esau is going to fight. All right. But that's not our blessing. Our blessing is not the sword. Our blessing is the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, prophecy, the spirit of prophecy. All right, Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, having faith. All right, these are all our blessings. These, th th that's our protection. That's our defense. All right, as we come closer and closer to the end. So, um, you know what? Let me. Um, I got a few scriptures I want to grab. A bunch of scriptures I want to grab, actually. But um, let me start with this. Let me go to the blessing. All right, the so-called white man Esau Edom, who you ignorantly call white, is not white, all right, but his name is, uh, he's actually red, and he goes back, he's the uh, the forefather of the Edomites, all right, and and this goes back thousands of years in the Bible where he was blessed, he, he received the blessing, he would have the fatness of the earth, 
the dew of heaven, and he would be blessed with the sword. All right. And that's how this so-called white man is able to rule the world through the sword. All right. Through bloodshed, through rape, robbery and murder. That's how they're able to rule. And that was their blessing. All right. And a lot of, and the majority of these Edomites here in America and other parts of the world. All right. Believe that, you know, that's their God given right to bear arms. All right. But <laughs> these Edomites, these higher ups. All right. Through their problem uh, uh, reaction solution, that Hegelian dialect, they're going to take your guns away and it's going to cause an uprising amongst the people. The scriptures speak of uprisings. All right. So let me get to the point in Genesis, the 27 chapter, uh, speaking on the blessing that Isaac had blessed um, his son um, Esau with. All right. This is um, Genesis, the 27 chapter. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 30. I'll start at 33. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who, where is, who, where is he that taketh venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before thou comest, came, excuse me, and have blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. All right. And he's speaking of Jacob. Jacob just surplanted. Uh, Esau for the blessing. All right. And when Esau heard the words of the of his father, he cried with a great and exceedingly bitter cry and said unto his father, bless me, even me also. Oh, my father. All right. So hey, this is serious. This is serious business. So Esau was, was, was crying because he wanted a blessing because Jacob supplanted him uh, uh, for the blessing, which the blessing was really the kingdom of heaven. Okay. They have rulership. All right. Um, true rulership under right, un, a righteous rulership. I'll say that. All right. And he said, is he not rightfully named Jacob? For he supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And if you go to the, uh, the 25th chapter, it says Esau despised his birthright. He sold his birthright. So he lied right there, but that's what this devil does. All right. And he it talks with a forked tongue and behold, now he have taken away my blessing and said, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac his Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do unto thee, my son? So he gave him the, he gave him everything, the kingdom of heaven, all these all, all these blessings, these all these resources. All right, that 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 come with that. Okay. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. And he and, and the fatness of the earth is rulership. He was able to rule. He's ruling for for, for a time, for a time, or right, for an era. All right. And we're in, we're at the tail end of his rulership. Yeah, all right. Esau had a, a wicked run. All right. But hey, it's, 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 it's an end to it. Everything must come to an end except the kingdom of heaven and the dew of heaven above. Um, and this is the point. And by the sword shall thou live. He lives by the sword. OK, I shall and shall serve thy brother and it shall come to pass when thou have thou thou shall have dominion that thou shall break his yoke off thy neck, all right, so Esau was supposed to break the yoke off our neck, but he kept it on because he had that hatred, he had that undying hatred of Jacob, and you're going to see this devil show his horns pretty soon, all right, but they, hey, I'm telling you, these Edomites is going, these Edomites are already divided, all right, and this gun law shit is, is even dividing them any, even more, all right, they were already, with Trump being in office, that was already a serious divide right there, even the divide came with Obama, all right, all those Edomites, they hated that. They hated that damn Hamite. Okay, you know, because they, 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 they're carnal. They think that he's one of us. They think that he's an Israelite. All right, he's a damn heathen. Okay, but they, they, they hated him because they thought he was a black man, so-called black man. So when Trump came in office, that of course that 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 swayed the people. All right, you had the these 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 Edomites that, you know, they 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 it gave them a sense of pride. It gave them a a, a higher sense of arrogancy when Trump came in office. So when Biden, now Biden's in office, all right, is dividing the people. 
Okay, the, 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 those those pro Trump people they, they they hate Biden, and you got a lot of people that were pro Biden. They they're beginning to hate Biden. So this country is at a complete divide. All right, and and, and and it's beautiful. All right, because as they're divided, you see the nation of Israel coming together, being stronger. The elect of Israel. All right, not every Israelite. All right, not every uh, uh, person that knows they're Israelite and know the name of the Lord. No, we the Lord is the Lord is gathering the elect by the word. All right. Um, Verse 20, I'll read verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. All right. And hey, that's what this devil's, hey, that's what, it, that's what this devil's um, objective has been ever since that point, to destroy and to kill Jacob. All right. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the, and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he hath but a short time. So this devil's going to come down on great wrath on his own and especially you Israelites. All right, let me grab this thing real quick in Sirach. Uh, Sirach 12 and... Um, where is it? Uh, no, excuse me. The book of Sirach 10. Is it 10 or is it 14? I think it's 14. Bear with me one second. Get this right scripture. 14 and um, 5. He he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. He, he, if he's devil is evil to his own people, okay? You know, these Edomites think they're, Amer they're American and, you know, that's their right. This devil is going to come down on your ass too, Okay? But, but, you know, but that's his own people. So that shows, that shows you how much of a scumbag this devil is. All right. Esau don't give a shit about nobody but him. Okay. And um, like I said, they're going to take away your, uh, your, your you're going to take away your firearms for sure. All right. Um, what was that? Is this one? Um, you know what? I wanted to uh, play this video. This is, this is recent, like today. All right. And this is from Canada. It says Canada freezing handgun ownership. All right. So it said handgun. It didn't say rifles, but you see where this is going. You see where you see the, the, the you can see the writing on the wall. You can see, you know, uh, um, you have eyes to see. You understand what the hell is going on. And I'm going to play this. It is real short, but he's, you know, they're serious. All right. So don't think that the same thing is going, not going to roll over here to America. All right. But. Thus, when it happens, you're going to have those uprisings. You're going to, and these Edomites ain't like you niggas, man. They, they go over there and protest and we shall overcome and all that shit. These Edomites, they ready to get physical. They ready to, to, to tear some shit up. All right. That, that's going to bring in the martial law. That's going to bring in the, uh, the race riots because you're going to have a bunch of dumb niggas out there marching and protesting, especially the so-called black woman for gun rights or anti anti-firearm, you know, all these bug out ass groups. Okay. But it's, it's going to get bloody in these streets. All right. Thus they have the scriptures. Thus they have the scriptures. All right. And this is, this is needed for this transition of power to happen during every single captivity, every rulership, when there is a transfer of power, whether it be the, uh, the Grecians overtaking the Romans, whether it be the, um, uh, 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 uh the Assyrians, the Babylonians defeating the Assyrians, it was bloodshed. So how much more the most wicked kingdom that has ever been, that has ever st uh, uh, stood, all right, in the history of the world? All right, so I'm going to play this real quick. We're introducing legislation to implement a national freeze on handgun ownership. What this means is that it will no longer be possible to buy, sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. In other words, we're capping the market for handguns. And Canada's not, you know, they're, 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 they're not, you know, big on guns like America. All right. So it, it may it may not. It won't have the uh, um, immediate effect as it would. And they're just introducing legislation, but I'm pretty sure it's going to pass. So it, it is. But in America, when this comes out, when, when, when Biden, you know, or whoever's bring, you know, um, what is it? Uh, uh, um, submits this, you know, um, for um, 
to become a, a, a law, it's going to be uprisings. All right. And not necessarily uprisings. It's going to be those in the Senate that are opposed to this. But at the end of the day, when if martial law is declared or if you got, you know, the, the shootings are getting out of hand and martial law has to be declared, their hands are going to be tied because, you know, they can't do shit about it. All right. So you see what if you got you got to have eyes to see these things. You got to there's a pattern that is a uh, that's taking place. All right, and Esau think they're controlling the narrative, but really it's the Heavenly Father that's controlling, it, it's moving all the, the uh, pieces on the chessboard. All right, let me play a little bit more. As a further part of this new legislation, we're also fighting gun smuggling and trafficking by increasing maximum criminal penalties and providing more tools for law enforcement. So imagine that if you if you own a gun, all right, you could be thrown in jail, all right. Or if you 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 uh, don't if you are caught with a gun, all right, without a license, you could be thrown in jail for for say ten years, all right, for a gun charge, fifteen years for a gun charge, and that's going to protect. A lot of you jakes out there, a lot of you gang banging, drug dealing niggas. All right, Esau pull you over. You got a you you got a burner. It ain't registered, and you don't got no papers for it. They're gonna throw you in jail. All right, and that's gonna that's the when Esau start throwing these numbers out there, that's gonna scare a lot of these niggas. All right, and, and they'll do like they did in um, California, um, you know, a, a few decades ago, where they said bring your guns in, no questions, no 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 questions asked, and you had a lot of niggas, you know, bringing their guns in, and you know. Uh, uh, turning their guns in, all right. You may have some something like that, um, you know, eventually to to give uh, uh, Jake a chance to surrender their uh, their firearms. But eventually, they're gonna say, you know, you know, the the it's the um, it, it's it's too late for all of that. You know, we're gonna go door to door, all right, and, and, and take your shit, okay? Because they they have a, when you register a gun, they got your address. All right, whether you have that gun there or not, if you and say you don't have your gun at your your, your house, then they, that's another reason for them to arrest you. So Esau, they like to throw, um, you know, what does the scripture say? Uh, I'll grab it. Um, damn, it's uh, Psalms. Uh, ninety four. Hmm. I think it's 94. Let me see. Here it is. 94 and 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? And that's what they're going to do. They're going to frame a lot of you jakes, all right, many of you Israelites, by, by these new laws they're implementing, they're, they're, by these executive orders that they're just passing and, and signing off on well, without your with, with, without you even knowing, all right? Like Obama Obama did a, did a lot of heavy lifting with those executive orders. All right, right under you niggas' nose. All right, right when you think you know this 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 place was for you, these niggas is 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 passing legislation, passing laws to uh, uh, um, trap you niggas even more. All right, let me play this uh, a little Investigate more. Investigate firearm crimes, and will require the permanent alteration of long gun magazines so they can never hold more than five rounds. These are actions that. Doctors, experts, and chiefs of police have been calling for for years, and we're acting on their advice. I also want to thank the advocates, many of whom are. So that's enough of that. So you understand if you you understand what's going on, you understand what this devil's doing, okay? And and, and these Edomites, they they're not gonna stand for it. These, these these American loving, gun right loving Edomites, you know, they're gonna protest. And it ain't gonna be no peaceful protest like you Jakes like to do. It's gonna be violent. This is uh second answer is nine and uh one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see it's part of the signs past, which I told thee before. And those signs are these prophecies. The signs are the uprisings, the famines, the pestilence, okay, the 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 um Esau coming down with great wrath, all right, you know, um uh, uh these chariots, like, these are all the signs, these these uh these wolf moons and you know, all, all these different uh, uh, um, what is, uh, lunar eclipses. These are all signs that the Heavenly Father told us that will come in the end times. Okay, and this is just another one of those signs, uprising to the people. All right, Esau uh, uh, um, using these pseudo-miracles to, to, to deceive you people. All right, the, the, the um, 
uh, what is it, uh, Esau's wicked devices, all right, which he's using, you know, in, in the form of his media. Verse two, then thou shall understand, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, it's in, in, in the whole world. All right, and you, there's uprisings every day where Central South America, where, where the Jakes down there are protesting against their government, is uprisings all in Europe. But when the, those uprisings start here, they're not going to be any peaceful uprising because the majority, I don't say the majority, but there's more guns in America than there are people. All right, I always say it, I always bring that out. So when, when, when shit get bad, when shit get tough, what are these people going to resort to? What is Esau going to resort to? Their default mode, which is their gun. All right. These devils is losing it. They're losing their kingdom. And when they lose something that they love so, you know, so dearly as their guns, they, they're going to lose it. Like, nigga, you, you ain't taking my gun. You know, they, they smart start blasting. You know, these, a lot of these Edomites are on edge out here because they see, they see the transfer of power. They see, the, the, they see their kingdom. Uh, 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 um, you know, going down, okay, and you know, it, it ain't really ain't shit they could do about it, all right. The Esau's losing grip uh, uh, of the kingdom. I'm talking about these low level Edomites, these higher up Edomites. They think they're under control. They think that everything is going according to their plan, all right. But they got another thing coming for them, all right. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, and I'm gonna start at verse uh, 20. No, excuse me, 15. For the sword and the destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And, and that those 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 goals will go into those race riots. All right. Those goes into those uh, uh um those those um fightings among you know with the government, all right, what they're gonna call uh, uh what do they call that shit? When you go espionage or something like that. You know, you're gonna have these militias that's gonna come up against the government is going to fight against the National Guards. They're going to fight for their gun rights. All right. So thus doing that, you're going to have a lot of people that are on the side of the police or on the side of the military. That's going to be fighting with the people. OK, so it, this is this place is divided. I'm going to get that scripture in a minute after I read this. This place is clearly divided. All right. Everyone's trying to pick sides right now. Okay, and you Israelites, the only side you better be on is the side of Yahweh Bashim the, the this truth in that in that in that uh, uh, that secret place. Okay, this is verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're not going to regard the uh, the gun um, the gun laws or the gun. Um, uh, 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 legislation, all right? They're not going to regard that. People are going to say, you want to take my guns? You're going to have to come in here and get them. And you know what that means. That's what, what's going to ensue. A shootout, bloodshed. And this is not going to just happen in one community in Iowa or Indiana or something. Or e It's going to happen everywhere amongst you Jakes, amongst you, uh, you, you Edomites in the suburbs that think you save everyone. No one's safe from this. Because this is, this is not Esau. This is the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Um, let me get Mark, uh, the book of Mark 3. And um, I'm going to start at verse 15. No, excuse me. Yeah, 15. 15. Where was I? Uh, 15. No, no, no. It's like here. Mark 23, it's Mark 23, I'm looking at the wrong thing. And he called unto them and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And I've been going into how America is divided, you know, not just amongst the liberals and the conservatives, um, um, amongst these, these, these super pro-Americans and, and these, in these, these, you could say, you can call them new world, new world order Americans that, that are uh, uh, that 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 um, that are into the you know the the, the 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 alphabet group and all these you know all these this wicked shit that Esau is bringing forth. Okay, so this place is divided. If a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and he and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. And we're at the end. All right, Satan is rising up against himself. Esau's cussing out Esau. Esau's tired of Esau. All right. But they, 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 there's no solution for E right now. There's not a solution. There never you know, was going to be a solution for E. All right. To, to, to prolong their their um, 
their uh their their uh their kingdom okay to to you know good, uh move things back to the old to, to the to the good old days that that american shit that shit's over with all right american uh dreaming and all that shit that shit's through all right you Edomites is out there they you're going to fight for their country okay but they're going to be destroyed in the process this is isaiah 19 and 2 and i will set in i will set the egyptians against the egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. That's those race riots. That's these Edomites fighting amongst each other. That's these, these dumb two-third niggas fighting amongst Edomites. And the Egyptians against the Egyptians, that's referring to America, all right? Because we're serving hardcore bondage here in America. America is the new Egypt. As it says, uh, um, that the spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, that's America. That's it's Babylon the Great, where all this, uh, uh, all the destruction is going to take place. And the spirit of Egypt shall fall. Excuse me, shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to idols and the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to wizards. And, and, and none of those, none of these, uh, um, none of those, uh, those false gods and idols that these Edomites, that you dumb niggas. Uh, um, you dumb Mexican niggas and you dumb Native American niggas uh, um, uh, 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 call on to, they're not going to save you in that day. All right? You're going to have a lot of bug outs that's, that's, that's intermingled with these Edomites that's out there fighting for uh, gun rights. And y'all going to get that dope hand joint in hand. Um, the wicked shall not go. Uh, um, oh, how's it go? How's it go? Let me get it. Let me get it. Hand joint in hand. I think it's Proverbs. Basically saying you 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 dumb niggas that 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 um that is in league with these Edomites that that that's pro American you're going to get destroyed too. Here it is. Uh, I just passed it. I think. No no no. Yeah, Proverbs. Uh. 11 and 21, excuse me. Though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So you niggas join in hand in hand with these Edomites, you're going to get punished like them. All right? So, um, let me see. That's all I had on this. So, you know, yeah, he's going to fight for their blessing. Okay? And that's going to, you know, what's going to ensue is these race riots, these, uh, uh, um, the, you know, eventually martial law. All right, so expect bloodshed in these streets. Expect, um, you know, uh, um, you know, shit to get tough out here. All right, expect expect to see more of, uh, uh, uh more shootings. Okay, it's more psyops. All right, so Esau's turning shit up, but really it's the, the heavenly Father Yahweh Shai that's turning everything up. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shem. Have a copper dash. Until next time, I say shalom.